so hi everyone welcome back to the channel i am paras so today we'll be working on the various features of git which we can utilize to make changes in our code and push that code to the server or we can say cloud cloud is basically github source control system right so um, let's get started so first of all we'll change our directory where we have cloned a repository okay or no just youtube channel Okay. so basically what we'll do is we will make uh, some amount of changes in our code okay and then we'll try to push this code to the branch okay so let's first see uh, what are the branches available with us okay so by this command git branch we can see the available branch we have in our system right now so we have git main the main branch right now what we need to do is we need to make some changes and then we can push the changes to github okay so for now what i will do is i'll change something in this index file so i'll write a comment this comment is for testing git okay so we have uh, we have written a comment this comment is for testing git right now i'll save this file okay uh, as soon as i'll save this file you can see one changes has been seen in this index file okay which is the new comment has been added okay so what i will do is uh, i can directly go and add this file to staging environment staging environment is the environment where whether all the changes have been shift right the one is our uh, local local file okay where we are doing changes one is staging environment where we'll we'll look the changes which have been which have been reflected so it will come basically compare the the older changes to the newer ones right then in this from the staging environment we can commit our changes then after committing we can push our changes to git so that it, it can be pushed to the git version control system on cloud right so this way we, our code has been published to the people or the our repository so what we can do is uh, by for now i'll i'll let you know the command line then in the earlier videos i'll show you how you can do with gui right so i'll look at status so now you can see one file has been modified okay so to add this file to our staging environment what we can do is we can do git add you can directly write the name of the file index.js or what, we, what if you want to do it in a wildcard way you can directly write git add dot so your file will be see as soon as soon as i had done this your file is being pushed to a staging environment stack changes okay here whenever you click this file you will see the changes right so now what i will do is i'll commit these changes Commit means I'll write the commit message means what are the changes I have done with m is equals to message okay smaller so comment has been added added okay so this is the thing I'm pushing uh, not pushing basically I'm committing right right now then I'll push it to push the code to the server so this is telling that uh, I'm not able to know who is this person right so what I will do is I'll configure my username with this command okay the same i'll do for my name okay and now this has been configured now i'll commit this change so one file is changed and one session okay now you can see you can see one sync changes button has been appeared so basically what it will do is it will push the code to the main branch and will sync the changes it will pull all the, it will also pull the changes which has been in the main branch if we are lagging behind the main branch okay so you can directly do git push origin main or directly you can click that button also so i'll do git push origin main okay so he it's, it's telling to authenticate for okay so what i will do is i'll, I'll choose web browser so you can see my webs will get open i'll do this authentication got succeeded right now as soon as i'll come here see this has been done this has been done okay so my changes have been pushed i'll check okay see the comment has been added this commit has been okay so you can see this index.js file has been changed okay so in this way you can 
make the local changes you can push the github okay so the next videos will be looking on how to pull the changes and in the later videos we'll see how to change the branches and create new branches so data last team can work on it right so thank you so much guys so we'll connect again on later videos bye bye